Well, prior to uh, coming to Fox Business, for 30 years I was in the investment business. And, yeah, I managed people's money. I loved it. Actually, I kind of missed it a little bit. So I thought we'd try something new. I know the questions that people ask about uh, not only how to invest their money, but also about the various investment products and choices that you have to choose from. So we're going to try something new on this show to answer some of those questions each weekend. We will keep drilling into various investments, their pros, their cons. And on this first attempt, I thought, well, let's start with something very, very broad, something that people always ask about. They say, well, should I invest in stock? Is now the time to get in? Should I get out? And to help us are two investment pros, Matt McCall, the president of uh, Penn Financial, and Ed Butowski with Chapwood Capital Investments. And gentlemen, um, I, know, I know you get the same question all the time. So, Matt, let's start with you. The stock market, if somebody comes up to you on the street and says, uh, should, I, should I invest in stocks? You know, the stocks are high again. So what should I do when the economy is all jittery? What's your answer? I say yes. If you're a long-term investor and you're willing to park your money for a couple of years, I still think the stock market is going to give you the best bang for your buck out there. Um, you know, the big argument people have is, well, the stock market hasn't done much over the last 10 years. Well, take a snapshot of the last 20 years. You would have made one heck of a boatload of money. And really, where else are you going to put your money right now? You look at the money market, it's pay, see, paying zero. So you're not making any money putting your money in a checking account. So I think if you want to have return, you believe in the fact that global economy is going to continue to grow, which I do and which it has for the last uh, 20 decades. Yes, you want to invest in stocks. But Ed, people, what, what's well, your I mean, answer to that question? I'm sure you get a lot. Yeah, and I do. And, um, you know, Matt, I completely agree with you with one caveat. I would wait right now to put any new money to work. And the reason being is we're about to enter into the earnings season. And when the earnings season occurs, stocks have already moved up six to nine months ahead of economic data. That's what always happens. I believe when these earnings are announced, and I think Alcoa probably announces first, when those earnings start coming out, the earnings are probably going to be in line. But then you're going to hear some rhetoric. The comments that are made are probably going to sound like this. Energy prices have gone up so much that our future earnings don't look like we thought they were going to look. And I think you're going to see a pullback in the market. Agree with everything you said, Matt, except right now I'd wait a little while until those earnings are announced. All right, but Ed, let me ask you, let me put an extra on that because if you're saying okay. wait, then the qu and a lot of people are, they're sitting in a lot of cash. So the question is, do you average them in or do you wait for some event? Well, the, the, you know, if you believe the market's going higher, which Matt and I do believe, then, you know, you say to yourself, do I dollar cost average? They only do that if you think the market's going to fluctuate in, in short periods of time. When that market corrects, and I never want to be a market timer, but nobody wants to invest and then see a 10% pullback, which I think we're going to see very, very soon, especially when earnings start being announced. So do you dollar cost average in? You could start that right now, or just wait a little while before you uh, commit some new money. All right, Matt, let me ask you on, on a lot of people use mutual funds they're not really pros they don't know what to pick they went to disneyland and they said hey maybe i should buy some disney stock uh, stocks or mutual funds? Stock mutual funds or stock individual stocks? What do you What do you say? I think a mixture of both. It depends on what type of investor you are. Uh, there's another product out there called exchange traded funds, very similar to a mutual fund. It's a basket of stocks. Uh, the big difference is when you're investing in a mutual fund, time you're investing in that manager. So there's a manager every day buying or selling, trying to beat that index that they're tracking. Let it. Let's say the S and P 500. The problem is. Only one in five are able to do that. So you're actually lagging the index. You're paying them for bad performance. Where an exchange traded fund known as an ETF actually is passive. You know every day what you're investing in. You can look it up on the website. And you don't have the buying and selling. They only rebalance every quarter. And at much lower fees, more tax efficient. I think that's probably the best route right now. And it's the fastest growing investment vehicle out there. All right. And we'll throw that in there. The three then. Individual stocks, exchange traded funds, which you can buy in the exchange, or mutual funds. Right. Which one? I, I will tell you, Matt's one, Matt's one of the, you know, easily one of the best investors out there. I completely agree with Matt saying, all I do is buy ETFs. I don't buy any mutual funds. The fees are very, very high. If you really start looking at the fees on most mutual funds, they're enormous. The exchange traded funds, you have lower fees. They follow the indexes. Uh, and the individual stocks, you know, some people want to do that. You maybe take 10, 15, 20% of your money and buy high quality individual stocks and make sure you're not trying to do any kind of market timing. But I agree with Matt. ETFs are the way to go. Last question for both of you very quickly. If I'm putting my okay. money into the market today, how long do I need to commit? 
Can, if, if I need the money in a year, is that good? Two years? Five I think, years? I think if you need the money in one year, you say, I'm going to purchase a home in one year. No, you do not put the money in the stock market. Put it in something uh, that maybe gives you a yield a little less aggressive. Uh, but if you have at least two years' time frame, yes, you can commit to the All stock right. market right here. Ed, two years, is that good enough for you? I think two years is fine. I, th I, I agree that if you need that money within one year, you put that in something that's very liquid that won't fluctuate a lot because you never know what this market's going to do. You never know what geopolitical events around the corner that's going to really send things down. So be very careful. All right. Matt McCall, president of Penn Financial, and Ed Butowski, Chapwood Capital Investments. Thank you, gentlemen, both very, very much.